Hey what YouTube, today I've had a lot of people asking me how I make my RTM tools so I thought I'd put a video up there and step by step it's going to be either three parts or maybe four parts depending on how far we get into it. First thing you're going to need is Visual Studios, the link will be in the description. If you don't have it then go and download it, you download this one. Once it's downloaded, once it's finished downloading, install it. And then you like get the application like this. First thing you're going to do Go in, C sharp, Windows File application. I'm just going to call this YouTube Tuck. I'm going to set it up. Okay, so once your farms are opened up, remember doing this farm in Metro Framework. So if you haven't got the Metro Framework tools in your toolbox, then I'll show you how to add them. There's, there'll be a link in the description for Metro Framework. All you gotta do is right click on the toolbox, choose item, and it'll open up another window. So then search for your deals. Once this is finished, you need to then, if you don't have the Metro Framework tools, you're going to have to click Browse. And wherever you locate the Metro Framework, the link will be, the stuff will be in the description. You just find the deal and click on Metro Framework. I will be putting the deals in the description. So then, first thing you want to do is resize the Get your, get your form to how you want it. Delete that. Delete the line. If you get your form to how you want it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add some coding. We're going to add some references. Project. Add reference. Metro framework and lib. Okay. First thing we're going to do using PS lib and using Metro Framework. Okay. So you're gonna come here. I'm gonna type Metro. Now if it gives you this error, you just need to drop down here and put that you're using Metro Framework and then that will make the error go away. Okay? So now we're on a Metro Framework tab. First thing we're gonna do is go to properties and we're gonna resize the farm to how we want it. So I would say that big, not it's not gonna be a big item too, it's just a basic I can tool and then we're going to come down to the properties and I'm going to take out the text because I don't want the text in it and then we're going to go down here and then we're going to go down to where it says theme we're going to change the theme to dark we're going to change I'll have I'll make a we'll make a yellow one yeah make a yellow one resizable right we're going to put resizable to false because you don't want to be able to resize the form if you if you don't put it to uh, false then you'll be able to resize your form once you've made it and you don't really want to do that because it looks daft. So once we've done that we then like we throw it over this. First thing we're going to do we're going to go into here type metro we're going to go to metro tab controller. The first thing we're going to work on in this video is the connect and attach in the layout of the form. So this and we're going to change the theme to this. Same again. Theme yellow that and we're going to use use color scaling which will allow the text on the top of the tabs to become yellow so we'll just call this one connect slash attach we're going to change the theme again we're on yellow Dark. 
so that gives us a connection to the tab. First thing you want to do is now you're going to get a label and whatever you want your tool to be called I'm going to change it just the text to yellow whatever you want your tool to be called so I'll just call this YouTube so and we'll make we'll give it we'll change the size of the writing because this will be the main header of the tool so we'll change it to 22 bold mod, mod, there. okay so if you want what we can in the, in the link in the description the, I've put a a file for you to extract which is here and this has all the codes in I, I, every code you will need for this RTM tool will, will be in here all of them so first thing I'm going to do is you're going to add a timer to it and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come look through the codes and you're going to find the flashing label flashing label you do not need to put that in the label I've just put that there just to show you where it goes so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put this in the timer so click on the timer control V into the timer and you're going to put this copy you're going to click on the form and when it says the form you're just going to paste that in there like that then just to show you out what it does when you press start to run the debugger let's give it a moment to set the tool up it's taking a while to put that on okay so now we've put it with a flashing label at the top so next you're going to add a, a button we won't do the connect and attach in one button because we um, we don't want to do that we'll just do it as a small we'll just, we'll just get, get it to any size you want what the text will do it yellow I'm not using metro framer buttons just because I prefer these ones because the text in the middle goes yellow as well so we're going to set the standard to flat uh, no, sorry, wrong one. here we go this is to flat and we're going to change the back color um, that, um, transparent there you go and then we're just going to call this one connect Um, just control C, control V, we'll call this one attach. Okay, now if you we've got connect and attach. And if you want to do disconnect, it should do it again. So you got disconnect from the tool. Disconnect. Okay, so back to the form again if you go up to the connect so we have connect you're going to from the try down to the last curly bracket you're going to copy now this is an easy way to follow guys you just you just copy and paste it now you add you can run a status strip if you want if you don't want to run a status strip just take that out the PS3 error don't worry about that we'll get rid of that in a moment we do have a public void public status void here so you just get this copy it and you go up your form to here enter control V and there you go your error is gone so now we have the connect now we have the connect the connect is working if we were to go to a tool that would connect so next we're going to go for the attach so the attach is here if PS3 attach in progress copy now the same again I've put status strip code in this but if you don't want to run status strips then don't run status strips but it will give you an error for status strip so we'll just take it out and we'll do where your status strips if you'd like me to show you how to put status strips in then just comment and I will show you how to put them in same for the disconnect copy now I've made all this up for you so all you've got to do is just follow everything that's in here and disconnect 
control V. So there you go. Right now, in the in the promoting in the message boxes, you can have if you want a CC API message to say that you've connected or anything like that, then you can do. But there's not one in this. It just shows a message box saying that you've connected. If you would like to put one in, then it's just a CC API notification, which can be done from here. If you look down here, we do have a CC API notification, which is nope. Sorry about that. Okay, we do have the CC API notification in a box which you come down and there we go. Change name, right? CC API notification, which is this. So you can just use that as, as a, and then this dot and then put whatever you want in it as a CC API notification. But we're not going to do that. So first, you're going to need a radio button. Now you can lay this form out any way you want, it's entirely up to you. You don't have to do what I do, just I'm just doing it roughly just to show you how. We're gonna call this one Kex. We're gonna change the font to yellow again. And background colour transparent. So there we go, we have a Kex button. And we control C, control V. And we're just gonna call that one Dex. Dex. There we go. Right, so we have the connect and attach the deck. So all you do is you come up here and you find the radio button for the CC API. And radio button there. So this is for CC API. Kept. Copy. And you should just do the same, all the codes are there ready for you, just copying and pasting. And if you can't copy and paste, then stop watching the video. And then team up here. For your... So that's CC API, and for depth, that's that. So, there you go. Now, so that's everything. Oh, if you can put whatever you want in here, you've successfully disconnected your PS3, if you want to put whatever you want from blah 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 don't run them out so now we have the kex attached so if we used to run that tool right now that would connect it would attach it to disconnect and to kex index now <coughs> if you want to put a set console id we're going to need a button but first we'll put them in a group we'll get a group box, we'll get a group box. just to just to make it look a little bit neater We'll change the background of the group box to transparent and we'll change the text to yellow and we'll call it console. We'll call it console, okay. So now we're gonna put a button in it and we're gonna call it set CID. Set CID and we're gonna need a text box now. I'm going to use Metro Framework text boxes because I like them, but you don't have to, you can entirely up to you what you want to use. I just like it because I can change the theme and the outside, you can just it looks really nice. So we're going to delete the text in the text box and we're going to put just all zeros in it. Just, just so it fills up, there we go. And we're going to come down here on the box, we're going to come down, we're going to change the theme to yellow. We're going to use use scale colouring, scale colouring, excuse me, and we're going to go dark, which then makes the box look like that. Now to set the ID, you're going to come down here. I've wrote all headers on them, so you just read the name button, set cut, set the ID. So then you go to here, and you just copy. That's all you do. Control V. Now once you've done that, that's that's the set CID, control C, control V. And we're going to use this as a CC API message. CC API message. 
and we're going to do the same again control C on the box control V just make sure that when you do this that you've named it like this text box is text box 1 you just make sure that this in here is set to metro frame with text box 1 and CCX and then obviously take all the notes out because you don't want all the notes in your message box to delete all the notes that's all the new rules are here CCHPI notification copy and paste oh draw me the paste so that's that bit done so once you've done that once you've done that we'll just add a tab and we, I'll leave it that one I'll make part two next